mom and dad created this online school called Valor Online, and it really was created for my sister Amaya. She's in Alabama right now, and we're just um, and. What did you learn? Yeah. Talk to them about what you did with your business class. Okay, you guys, I'm learning profit and loss statements <laughs> with Caitlin. So one of the classes that, um, so Caitlin wasn't sure she was ready to do online school, mm -hmm. but she saw her sister taking this leap. And um, Caitlin had had some issues, you know, not issues at SCA, but she had had to leave class a lot for different um, extra classes and yeah. things like that. So it, it actually was like, what we were finding is her spirit was really dying. Mm -hmm. And so in the sense of like, she wasn't coming alive. And I've just seen you come alive in your confidence and your boldness. So talk to them about your business class that you did this year. And, um, you know, maybe they would want to know about yeah. for their kids. So I do a business class. Um, it's like an entrepreneur class. And I create a business that's called Checking Off Chores. It's an app. Well, I haven't created the app, but. In the How future. much would the app cost? Um, a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, she she did all the studies of yeah. how. Yeah. <laughs> this, we were t contacting with this guy that makes apps, and he told us, and I'm like, bye bye. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Next. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I created like a uh, like a business plan that took a lot of work, and um. And I created all this stuff. Now I just need to create the app and, yeah. And so what do things. you love most about living this integrated life, being on this Maso Momentum Tour? What's been your most favorite part about um, getting like, to meet all these amazing people? Well, I really like doing the registration stuff and, like, doing the clothing and, like, bagging it. I feel like that's really fun. And it's staying in hotels. <laughs> and, and be careful this gal will upsell you so just you know because she she uh she, it's all about it the other day we were walking out and we were putting i love you know she's like my biggest fan it's pretty cool but we were walking out to the trailer and and we were loading up um the extra books that hadn't sold and she goes papa people just didn't buy all your books tonight i'm like nope and she goes and these are heavy and i'm like yep they're heavy and she goes heavy with knowledge <laughs> and so but you know one of the things we're so proud of with Caitlin is that like I say a year ago you know we were ending the school year in a great school in Arizona yep. but we saw um, Amaya thriving in school and Caitlin um, being more challenged yeah, academically yeah. by the by again these are in in the millionaire mindset I talk about uh, the the standards that the world puts on you or school or the standards that you live by. And we realized that Caitlin is a brilliant girl, but again, we're, we realized that the school we, we were in, they, they taught all the kids the same, and they expected them and their different learning styles to work for the school versus the school to work for their learning styles. And when literally they tested Caitlin and realized her brilliance, see, brilliance for kids is not yeah. how much we can stuff in them but by the time they get to 12th grade. It's what we can actually pull out. And what happened was her advocate, literally Miss Kim, reached in and tested you and realized your learning style is different than Amaya. Mm -hmm. Now, Caitlin is back to thriving and loving school versus just feeling like, why is my older sister, you know, yeah. getting all the good grades? So, anyway. Yeah. Last question, Kate. Yeah. What does dreams take work to mean to you? It's like your favorite sweatshirt. Yeah. So, tell us what it means. So, um, my mom and dad, they created this uh, fashion, like, kick me in the face, like the fashion business. And, like, I saw them every day putting in all the work that, like, all, like, the things that need to be done for it. Like, I, like you have to, like, do inventory. I don't know. I didn't know what that was. <laughs> and now you have to actually go into the website and take it out of inventory. I used to just go out to the garage and grab a T-shirt. <laughs> but you can't do that anymore. And so... I just see, saw them every day putting in all this work just to make this T-shirt that you're wearing or the T-shirt that you just bought, and that's what it means to me. That's awesome. Give it up for Caitlin, everybody.